When a group of mercenaries attack the estate of a wealthy family, Santa Claus must step in to save the day. This movie is an action comedy. Unfortunately, it fails at both the action and the comedy. The idea is actually promising, but the execution leaves much to be desired. The concept requires some wit to maximize the idea, however, it feels like the filmmakers only stop at the idea and have no clue how to develop it. Instead of emphasizing the uniqueness of the comic concept and its hilarious potential, the movie gets bogged down in generic action, focusing on long fights and scenes of violence. As the malicious Santa, David Harbour, does his best to instill a bit of humor, but the script really lets him down. There aren't enough clever comebacks for him to deliver. The actor reduced to grunting and yelling as he dispatches one generic bad guy after another. It becomes sooner than later that the movie is bringing little to the table beyond some comedy sketches we saw before. The film's magical elements don't exactly bring human stakes to the material either. The movie mostly operates in half measures in terms of plumbing the depths of its protagonist's depression and debauchery. It's really lazy as the movie actually teases the Santa's violent past but not explored. It becomes one of many missed opportunities overlooked in the pursuit of bloodshed. In terms of the action, the movie also fails to deliver fantastic action scenes. There's no single memorable fight sequence or set piece in sight as it fails to demonstrate the finesse in its action design. The hand-to-hand -hand combat between Santa and a variety of henchmen is extended but not all that interesting. The main difference between this and any other action movie is that one of the guys fighting has a red suit. Watching Santa break, impale, and eviscerate faceless bad guys is promising at first, but eventually even action aficionados will be left wishing for more. The movie feels awkward as it tries to blend hyper-violence and bad Santa hijinks with a Hallmark-style sentimentality. It mocks the traditional notion of Santa Claus, then goes on to stress the importance of believing in a version of the jolly gift-giver that doesn't exist. It's obnoxious in its determination to take down the overly sentimental Christmas genre with action brutality, but too cowardly to interrogate any real ideas. The movie is stuck between parodying something and trying to fit the genre it parodies. Overall, it's not really worth to watch this in theaters. Just wait on your streaming service.